Hello, everyone. It's good to be with all of you again. Uh, I haven't seen you for a while, so I'm going to tell you a story today, or actually, I guess I'm going to read you a story today called The Legend of the Three Kings. Long ago, at the time of the first Christmas, people all over the world were worrying about their problems and had important questions that needed to be answered. The three men, three wise men from different countries noticed an unusually bright star in the sky. Being wise men, or magi, they thought the star meant something special. They hoped it would lead them to the answers they were seeking. One of the wise men was Balthazar. In his country, people had lost faith. Balthazar wanted to bring faith back to his people. When he saw the star, he thought that following it would help him do just that. He asked the other wise people in his kingdom to help him choose a gift a symbol of the faith that had been his people's greatest quality. They had no faith now. Finally, the poorest beggar, bring gold, he said. So Balthazar did. The second wise man was Melchi, and in his kingdom, people were suffering because they had lost hope. Doubt, the greatest destroyer, had entered their hearts. Malachar also thought the star might lead him to an answer. He too wanted to bring a gift, but none of his advisors had any ideas of what he should bring. Then an orphan girl suggested he bring a carved bottle full of myrrh, the sweetest and the spiciest of perfumes. So that's what he did. The third wise man Gaspar was a king from Africa. His country was great because his people were blessed with generosity. For years, however, selfishness had corrupted his people. Gaspar hoped to bring back generosity by following the star. A poor, hungry man suggested incense as a gift. Gaspar chose frankincense the sweetest incense of generosity. Each king started off alone, but their path joined, so they continued on together. In Bethlehem, the star shone the brightest, and the sweet odors of pine and cedar filled the air. Soon a tall carpenter stood before them. They asked him where to find the answers to the questions that they were seeking. The carpenter, whose name was Joseph, told them that he didn't know, but that they could lodge with him with his family. Then Joseph brought them to the stable where the baby Jesus lay sleeping in a manger. The kings realized that Jesus was a great new king and the answers to their problems. They knelt, giving their gifts with joyful hearts. Remembering, returning home, each king felt a sense of peace and contentment. They were amazed, however, that their knapsacks were very heavy, even though they had given their gifts away. Each opened his sack to find not only the gift he had brought, but the gift of each other king as well. Faith, hope, and generosity. The three kings had a long way to go to get home, and everywhere they stopped, they told people about the baby Jesus, the new king. They enlightened everyone along their way with the importance of his birth. When they got back to their each individual homes, they each had the qualities of Christians everywhere, faith, hope, and generosity. Now, this story is called a legend. 
Now, a legend means that parts of it are true, parts maybe not. But I think most of it is true. I, I like the story. And I think for those of us who feel that maybe there are other things that we need to find out about the three kings, if we can sit down with someone we love and read the Bible and find out more about the three kings, I think that would help us realize that this story is a very beautiful story and has a lot to offer us.